Okay, let's see how horribly this can go this time. This is actually take three of this, and, um... Wait a minute, right. But yeah, this is actually take three of this, because... First time, Camtasia crashed on me. Which, whatever. And, uh, the second time, I kind of just got rid of it, because the commentary was horrible. And believe it or not, I do actually have some standards on commentary. Wait for this purple steam... Purple steam to go away. Ah! Huh. So how's everybody doing? Today, ew, I almost got hit there. Today it is July 16th, 6.44 p.m. and I made that jump. Last time I didn't make it, I missed the one-up right here. Yo, whoa. Forgot about that. That purple steam, purple steam. But yeah, I just got back from, uh, well actually, I got back a while ago from going shopping because I had a uh, $15 off of a purchase of $30 or more at a store. So I went and bought two shirts, and um, ended up spending like $27, which wasn't too bad. I got two Pokemon shirts and stuff like that. Bam. This bubble trap. Was it Mega Man 9 or 10 that had this bubble trap in it? I want to say 10. Maybe it was 9. Actually, I think it was 9. It was 9 in Splash Woman's taste, that's right. Duh. Don't even know my own Mega Man games. And I call myself a fan. And there's a bubble. Oh, I almost, almost missed that jump. I actually have dodged those spikes before, and it's really quite embarrassing when you do it. Huh. So what is there to talk about? Oh, we have this motorbike thing, this aqua bike, with some buoys that try to get in your way and kill you. Probably gonna die here, because I didn't take a lot of hits during this uh, water segment, because I can't really control my speed. You know, watch your speed. Ew. Hi. Also, those guys come from behind, try to hit you with the butt, and do some damage to you. Of course, it does nice when they drop energy. Oh god, not the dolphins. Not the dolphins. Ugh. Where's that mini-boss at? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, good, he dropped energy. Ah, oh, here's the mini-boss. We have some giant Kraken thing, which you want to shoot in the green, like, television screen on this head. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so I have to get close to him like that and get a good bit of shots in him, because he has no invincibility. So, hammer away! Okay, now this section here, you want to be a little bit careful, because, um, this is where your Mega Man letter is for the stage. I missed it the first time, because I got distracted by the whole Camtasia crashing on me, and I'm gonna die here, probably. Like I said, I take a lot of hits here for no reason. Okay. Yeah. There's gonna be two dolphins that jump. Well, never mind. We're not gonna get that far, apparently. But eventually, there's two jo dolphins. There's two dolphins that jump pretty much, uh, right after each other, and that's the good indicator of where your Mega Man letter is, so... Huh. Here we go again. More motorbike. Aqua bike. Well, that was stupid. Jeez. This boo is like a lot of hits. I think it's like four. Oh! Hi. These guys only take, what, two or three? I don't know. You can just try to avoid them. That's also not a bad idea. Of course, these dolphins don't make it easy. Ah. Uh. This is fun. I like jumping with a bike. Dang it. Drop some health. Aw, oh, mini boss time. Die, Kraken! Ah. Uh -huh. I didn't order you to release the Kraken? Eh. Yeah. Oh, wow. You hit me three times. Four times! Four hits from the mini boss. That has got to be horrible. I, I suck at this segment. I told you, I take a lot of hits here. I'm surprised I didn't take a hit there. Because I totally hit that guy. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, good job. Health. I need it. Alright, where are you at with your dolphins and your Mega Man letters? You kind of want to hang back a little bit so it doesn't come up too quickly on you. I think it's... I don't know. Where's it at? Where's it at? Okay, here it is. Shit! Uh, uh, I got it! Huh? Huh? It's really scary when you take a hit, though, because you get stunned for like a second. You can't control yourself and you can't jump, and then you think you're going to miss a letter, but I got it. Oh, I missed... Uh, one up. Oh, well, I got the letter. That's all that matters. I got the E. Yeah, I have control of Mega Man now. You get out of here. And now, we get to fight Wave Man! Of course, I'm gonna die here, so... I'm not gonna really waste the charge kick. How he is giving me the finger with his harpoon. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't... You should take a hit. Ugh. I cannot fight this guy to save my life. Which is why I die to him a lot. Oh! Wait, you can't shoot through water? Water's not a solid, it's a liquid. Ice is a solid. Apple juice. Alright, charge kick time. 
You pretty much use a charge kick like you're trying to slide, you know, down an A. Or down a B. I don't know. I think it's down an A. Yeah, it's definitely down an A. But you don't want to use it when the guy's stuck up against the wall because you'll just take multiple hits from him. Oh my god. I did pick up an E tank, didn't I? No! Okay, one more hit's gonna do it! Oh, I took one! Ah, oh, I go! <laughs> I think I was. I think we were both one hit away from death there. Luckily, I got the last hit in first. Foist, foist, foist. Oh, yeah, give me your power. I need the power. Waven's hard. He's probably the hardest boss in the game, in my personal humble opinion. Take it up now. You got Water Wave. Sweet. And Water Wave is actually kind of confusing because it's drawing against Story Mean, which makes no sense. Of course, there's no water on stars as far as I know, so I guess water will extinguish the stars. This stage is fun too, because there's no gravity! Well, there is, but it's very insignificant. Slide! Ah, I dodged all the asteroids this time. Last time I got hit by one. Of course, also last time I beat Waveman stage and hit continue. I had to go through the stage again, which was stupid. Actually, I just got myself killed and got myself a game over, because it would be quicker. Quicker. Not as quick as Quick Man, but quicker. Let's get rid of this guy voice, and then this guy up here. Well, there we go. Stop dropping health, I don't need it right now. Not when the whole battlefield is laid out with insta-death spikes. Health means nothing then. Get out of here, Kenon. These guys are funny, they bounce on their heads. Boing, boing, boing. It is hot in here, oh my god. Actually, today and yesterday is the first two days in like a month or two that we haven't had rain, which is kind of surprising. Because every other time it's been like, oh, has it rained today? Well, it's 11 o'clock, let me get a light drizzle in, just just so we can have some rain today. So... Oh god. These guys are annoying. Ugh. Now my head itches. Okay. Moving onwards and upwards. Hmm. Bum. So what is there to talk about? Talk about something. Something interesting. You know what's interesting is that, uh, Coldplay... And they're like I, I know what I'm. I notice it at work all the time because they play the same two songs. Well, not the same two songs all the time, but these two songs that they play by Coldplay are Clocks and uh, excuse me, Speed of Sound by Coldplay. And I, sw I swear those two songs sound the exact same. I, I, I think they do. Maybe they're like the exact same song, just different lyrics or something. I don't know. But I notice it all the time at work and it annoys me because I like Speed of Sound more than Clocks. So I hear it and I think Speed of Sound's coming on and it's really Clocks, you know, Cox. But, um, I don't know, what in the world? Oh, can see myself. I was way off, off, the, off the top of the screen. I wonder if there's something up there if you can glitch up there. Like when you jump across the screen like that. I don't know. But yeah, Clocks by uh, Coldplay sounds so much like Speed of Sound or maybe Speed of Sound sounds like Clocks. I don't know which one came out foist. But they both sound the exact same, and it kind of just confuses me as to why they would do that. Of course, I know, I guess they're both pretty successful songs. Because you hear them all the time. Shoot, I missed. You know. Ah, there we go. Another bad thing about the music at work is, like, the past two weekends in a row, because I only work Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. In the past two weekends in a row, they've played a whole bunch of country music, and I can't... It's not that I can't stand country music, I don't like it. There's a few songs out there by certain artists, like Toby Keith will occasionally put on a good country song, Tim McGraw, but um... <clears throat> For the most part, I think all country music sounds the same, split up between two different genres. There's a slow, sad one, and there's the fast-paced party one, and they all sound the same. As far as I'm concerned, that's just me, though. Bum, ba -da bum, ba -da bum. But yeah, and then like, you know, music in a store is supposed to be all kitty friendly, I guess, because it's a, it's a sports store, sports and outdoor store. You want to shoot these guys in the head, by the way. Otherwise, our head goes crazy, but um, like you want music to be like kid friendly, you know, family friendly, stuff like that. And like the song by uh, Pink, where, crap, I can't think of it now. Um, I think it's Pink. Um, wow, I'm drawing a blink on the line now, but um. Well, whatever. We'll skip that one and move on to another one. Now, I don't know who the artist is. I don't even know who half the artists are that they play on that place. 
but there's this song there, sung by some woman, and she sounds like the uh, girl from Are We There Yet? The little girl who sings that song at the club or something. She actually sounds like her. I don't know if it is her or not. Probably not. I don't think she's a singer or anything. But um, the song that she says, I, I, misunder I misunderstand the lyrics so horribly. Because every time she says the line, like the chorus, I think she's saying, You've got me begging you for pussy. And I don't think that's what they would say. Shit. <laughs> I don't think that's what they say. For one, it's not family friendly to say, You've got me begging you for pussy. And for two, it's just like a woman saying that and, you know, well, I don't know, she could be a lesbian, I don't really care. But, um, regardless, it's just that it's not, not something you would expect to hear, like at a, you know, public store. Who wants to cater to the family, not the, uh, adult individual? They want to help kids or something. Uh, I gotta focus here, everyone, right quick second. What else is there that plays there? That's really annoying and confusing. There's a bunch of them, I can't think of it now. Of course, now that I want to talk about it, I can't think of it. Oh, there's this also song, um... And they play all the time that I'm there. Every time I'm in the store, this song plays at least three or four times. Except when they have it on country music. Which I guess is the only somewhat good thing about the country music that they have there, but um... I don't know who the artist is again. I'm not big on band names or... Fuck! I'm not big on band names or, um, musicians. But... The guy, like the chorus goes, I belong with you, you belong with me and my sweetheart, or something like that. And that's like, that's the whole song right there, over and over again. And I can't stand that song, because they play it like five or six times a day when I'm there. No joke. And uh, my friend works there too, he's a cashier. And uh, we were closing the other day, which means you pretty much, you know, close the store and stay about an hour or two after to get the store, you know, ready for the next day. So we were closing the store, and uh, that song came on right when we clocked out, and we said, Okay, we gotta hurry up and get the hell out of here. So we ran to the door just to get out before we had to listen to that song. Because that song is, I don't know, it's my least favorite song that they play there. It really is. Oh. You were giving me good stuff earlier, why don't you give me the weapon energy now? It's not like I need it. Ow. I need some brains, that's what I need. I need some skill. Drop off some skill next time. <laughs> what else is there? I uh, should have died there, probably. Um, damn it. Okay, this is getting old now. I want to meet you guys back there. What up? Yay! Now I'll get to try this again. But by the way, during that whole uh, thing where I was being quiet, I thought of the song by, I think it's Pink. I'm pretty sure it's Pink. But it's uh, where she's like, you know, if you're too cool for... Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm back here again. Eddie gave me another one up. Thank God, because I just wasted the other one. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the song by Pink. Where she, you know, the one of the lines is, If you're too cool for school, you know, like the strumming meek, or if you're too school for cool. Which I'm too school for cool, obviously. Hey, I finally made it past that jump. Kill the janitor here, and move onwards. But we're, there's part of the song where she's like, Bam, bam, oh, hot, damn, or something like that. And the, the song, like, like, damn is probably the least offensive cuss word there is. In fact, I think most people don't even care about it, because it's in, like, every single PG movie out there. And a lot of video games, so... I don't know. But the way they censor it is so weird. It's like... Actually, before I continue that, let me, uh... Do this while I'm thinking about it. Go away, janitor. I'm off today. No. Get on the dog. There we go. But, um, the way they censor it is weird. It's like, bam, bam, oh, how was <laughs> It's so... I don't even know. It doesn't make any sense. Like, if a kid can't inference, like, most songs rhyme, and if a kid can't tell that you're censoring the word damn out of that, it's just weird. Like, that happens with a lot of songs, too. Like, they... Like, just by using common knowledge of how songs work and how they rhyme... There's a V, by the way. You know... You can pretty much determine what the word is, unless you don't know that the word even exists, which could be a situation, but, um... I mean, even if I was a kid, I was doing that. Putting pieces together and knowing words and stuff by songs that were censored. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, they also do that with, a. Uh, they play two Blue October songs, which Blue October is probably my favorite band now. Um, but they play two Blue October songs there, Calling You, which is probably one of their more famous ones, and Hate Me. 
Which is another one of their more famous ones, too. And, um, Hate Me has... They play the Sinister version of that, too, because in one of the lines he says, you know, I'll drive so fucking far away. But, um... <clears throat> anyways, the Sinister version of that song, like, cuts out an entire chorus verse or something. It's so much shorter than the actual version. It's weird. I think it's the same version they used for the music video, too. But yeah, Blue October. Awesome band. Probably my favorite. I would be seeing them at concert, but I have to go to school on the day, or actually on the night, I should say, that they're uh, coming by. Which sucks, but, you know, education comes first. And we got the Crystal Eye. Cool. Um, I'll oh, say just like, don't, don't click continue, because we don't want to go through that again. But um, that's going to do it for this episode. Man, I don't want to stop now, because I was having a good bit of a uh, rant going on there. But, oh well. Next time, we'll possibly continue that rant. Um, anyways, Stone Man, actually no, Napalm Man, will be next on the list to take down. So, yeah, 2 Cube is signing out. Thanks for watching. Bye.